It's been a very interesting last 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> help me make sense of this, please. It started uh, in Miami, man, and I said something in my last interview, and it was, we talked about M uh, uh, for a short period in that interview, and for some reason, people want you to believe that you're not better than people, or, or that you shouldn't think that you're better than people. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and I watch Kobe doing old interviews where people try to compare him to Michael Jordan, right. and he says, nah, like, I'm Kobe. And of course Kobe was motivated right. and inspired by Michael Jordan because he did it first, but then he came after that and became Kobe. Right. And he, he, he worked so hard to even be mentioned with Michael Jordan. Right. They ain't mentioning nobody else with Michael Jordan except LeBron, Kobe, and Michael Jordan. Right. And so I've always told myself that you are the best rapper in the world or else how do you function? As, right. uh, how do you function in this competition? Right. Because it, everything that we do, if you're doing it on this level that we're doing it, is some type of competition. Usain Bolt ain't out there running around the track by himself in the Olympics. Like, it's right. a nigga's trying to beat him, and he's trying to beat somebody. And everybody that lines up before that gun pops thinks that they are the fastest nigga in the world. So it's like, when I said what I said about him, it was to challenge him, to challenge hip hop, to ignite a rap riot not a street fight or not a uh, let's pull out the straps, but nigga, get up and rap. Like, let's rap, you know what I'm saying? And so because of Eminem and me and M's history and me and 50's history and Aftermath and Shady and Black Wall Street and all of that, and M's career and all the records that he sold when records were selling and all of that and the Interscope push, a lot of people don't understand. These buildings can push you to sell records even if you're not as great as you are. We know some whack ass rappers that have sold a lot of records. We won't say the names because, you know, whatever. But they got Eminem put up here where he's like this rap god. But when dissected by myself, I don't feel like he's a better rapper than me. And so that's all I was saying. Now, for me to, you know, really take a shot at M like that, doesn't it doesn't sit well with people. Because to them, he's a rap god. I just feel like a rap god where? Like, I don't feel how I feel. I mean, and I did, at one point, I did. Because I was signed to Aftermath, and I'm loyal. And I and like and Interscope and, and M's career, they had me thinking that he was better than everybody else. At one point in my career, I, I was thinking that M was better than Jay, just based off of Renegade, because uh, the Source magazine said that Eminem got Jay on that verse. I read that, and that shit was instained in my, in my brain, and so I thought that too, mm. until I became a vet and a legend in this game. And so now, this game today, and M today, today, fuck the documentary, fuck every album and everything that I've ever put out up until this day. Fuck everything that you did, and I don't care if you are richer, and I don't care if you got more plaques, and I don't care who thinks you're great, nigga, I'm better today. And if I'm not, get up, and let's rap. Let's rap, that's all I wanna do is rap. I ain't come here to fight, I ain't come here to do nothing, but let's rap. You did it with MGK, why not do it with me? You did it with Mariah Carey, you did it with Nick Cannon. <laughs> And, and I mean, no, I'm just, these are the people. This is what I'm trying to figure out, because I didn't, because I didn't, I was all I saw was like random, you know, like headlines. Of right. I didn't dive into it at all. Why am, like, what was the you origin You know of, why? Like, yeah. Because 50 can't rap. And so I got to go a level up mm. and challenge the better rapper. That's yeah. why. And not to take nothing away from what 50 doing. He can see it and tweet it, but he know I'm going to respond. Or he can go rap about it, but he going to lose that battle. So it's like, he can do whatever he want. And again, there's no um, 2005, 2006 animosity towards 50. Like he doing, I watch Power. I watch, uh, what's the, the Tommy one? I mm -hmm. watch, um, you know, the one with uh, Isaac Wright on, you know, primetime television. I watch 50 shows. Like I'm a fan of those shows. BMF is great, yeah. but I'm a rapper. He's a rapper and I am the better rapper. I'm not the better, I'm not the better TV producer. Right. Like I give, I'm giving him his dead flowers while he can still smell them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when it come to rap, he can't out rap me. So your buddy can your buddy can rap though. Mm -hmm. And nobody really takes shots at Eminem off this preconceived notion that he's better than everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, I want action. Mm -hmm. And I want it today. And if you are a rapper or a rap god, if God could God like God, the word God, we throw it around so loosely, but if we really talking about God, God controls everything. So mm -hmm. if you are a rap god, control me. Put me, put me down, put me in my place, let me know. Because if he out raps me, I'm gonna feel like shit, all right? He got it. Because out of, out of, out, and, and, and this is, I'm talking about Hov and Nas. I'm talking about Takeover and Ether. One of them has to feel like they won. I'm not saying, I'm not giving my opinion, I'm just saying th them two. Right. Somebody knows who got the edge a little bit, and the Takeover was amazing, and Ether was amazing. I'm just saying, 
Let's have our moment, or I'm gonna have it by myself. Well, right, there you have it. Wow. Peace, peace. This is Just Blaze. I'm teaming up with the homie, Caddy Customs. We're gonna be creating some of the dopest sneakers you've ever seen for some of the biggest names in our culture. From Jetty Kiss to Jim Jones, Styles P to LP, The Game, and so many more. These guests can get shoes from anywhere that they want, but they can't get these. We're making iconic, one-of-one -one pieces based on their career, their lives, and their journeys. Everything that we do in these shoes highlights a part of their career, who they are as a person, why we love them, or a piece of art that they've given us as we give them their flowers. We tell their stories through the art that we create, and we ask them questions about these moments. Welcome to Fresh Pair. Tears was coming down my face to get this design right. Ooh. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to top these. Yeah, this is amazing. Oh, I know you were probably wondering. Not with the ghost! Yeah. This is the best thing ever! You the drippiest. You drip from the, from the flow to the dough. <laughs> I have a lot of shoes. I haven't felt this way about a pair in a long, in a 